The following podcast is non-profit and is based on the IGCSE history curriculum. In this episode, we'll be going over the impact of the Second World War on Germany. Germany practiced the Blitzkrieg tactics during the Spanish Civil War. It then adopted the tactics into successful invasions during the Second World War, for example the invasion of Poland, France, Belgium and the Netherlands. Blitzkrieg was a tactic which involved fast armoured attacks, close air support, breaking through the opponent's line, and continuously changing front and attack methods to confuse the enemy. Now let's discuss how life was or was not changed by the war in Germany. On the one hand, the war changed everyday life in Germany. Firstly, rationing was introduced, so Germans had even less access to food and clothing. Near the end of the war, people were almost starving due to the severe rationing and shortage of food. Secondly, the Allied bombing raids on Cologne, Dresden and other German cities destroyed a large area and resulted in the deaths of many civilians. To escape these raids, German children were evacuated to the countryside, where they worked on farms to increase war effort. Thirdly, the economy became a war economy. The Nazis now had control of all the resources and production, so Germany fully supported the war. Also, by 1942, all entertainment venues were shut down. Only cinemas were open and were restricted to showing propaganda and pro-Nazi films. However, due to the failing war, opposition to the Nazis increased and they lost much of their support. Finally, young boys were recruited into the Volkssturm, or Home Guard, to protect Germany from the Allied invasions. On the other hand, the war did not really change everyday life in Germany that much. Firstly, due to the Blitzkrieg tactics, the German people did not experience any fighting until the Allied bombing raids later on. Secondly, while women were being recruited into factories and farms more to increase war effort, however, out of the three million women, only one million actually returned to work. Now I would like to further discuss the increased opposition towards the Nazis during the Second World War. As a result of the failing war, Nazi opposition had increased. The Idolese pirates began attacking Nazi officials and officers, and increasingly singing anti-Nazi songs in public. After they killed the Gestapo chief, 700 of them were arrested and 12 hanged publicly in Cologne. The White Rose Group began publishing more anti-Nazi leaflets and marched through the city in protest of the war. As a result, the leader of the group was beheaded by the guillotine. The July bomb plot was organised by a group of army officers who had tried to kill Hitler. A briefcase bomb was placed near him, however he was shielded by the blast by the large wooden meeting table. There was also an increase in swing youth and jazz youth who rejected Nazi values by drinking alcohol and dancing to jazz music, which was considered by the Nazis to be degenerate negro music. Now I would like to further discuss the increased opposition towards the Nazis during the Second World War. As a result of the failing war, Nazi opposition had increased. The Idolese pirates began attacking Nazi officials and officers, and increasingly singing anti-Nazi songs in public. After they killed the Gestapo chief, 700 of them were arrested and 12 hanged publicly in Cologne. The White Rose Group began publishing more anti-Nazi leaflets and marched through the city in protest of the war. As a result, the leader of the group was beheaded by the guillotine. The July bomb plot was organised by a group of army officers who had tried to kill Hitler. A briefcase bomb was placed near him, however he was shielded by the blast by the large wooden meeting table. There was also an increase in swing youth and jazz youth who rejected Nazi values by drinking alcohol and dancing to jazz music, which was considered by the Nazis to be degenerate negro music. During the Second World War, the Nazis' anti-Semitism drastically increased and the Holocaust or Final Solution began. There were three stages of the Holocaust. Stage one was ghettos. Jews were forced to leave their homes and live in these special areas in Eastern Europe cities. They were designed to slowly kill them as they lived in overcrowded rooms and were malnourished. Many died from disease and starvation. Gradually, these ghettos were liquidated and Jews were sent to death camps. Stage 2. Einstadtsgruppen murders. In Nazi-occupied Eastern European territories, the German army were followed by special SS soldiers called the Einstadtsgruppen, 
who had the job of killing every Jew that they found. They were often taken in large groups to ditches, stripped and shot in the ditch. Stage three was death camps, which were called the final solution to the Jewish problem. All Jews were transported to special death camps, such as Auschwitz, where they were gassed to death and cremated. Some camps were work camps. Healthy men and women were forced to work until they were too weak, which is when they were gassed by Zyklon B. Upon arrival, the elderly and children were sent to gas chambers, as they were too weak to work. Some Jews showed resistance to the Holocaust. One form of non-violent resistance was fleeing Germany or continuing Jewish religious practices in ghettos, death and work camps, or being uncooperative or slow working. One violent resistance was sabotage inside and outside of camps, forming groups of resistance and resisting the liquidation of ghettos, for example, the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising of 1945. This is the end of the podcast. Thank you for listening.